Hey there, this is Akshay Madan. Welcome back to a new video. In the last part, we had seen while loop, right? In this part, we are going to see switch statements, right? That's basically conditioning statements only. So we saw if else and ternary operator, right? So switch case is a bit advanced, you can say conditioning statements, right? So I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to show you by giving an example. So I'm going to write a main function, right? And in this main function, my task is that if I'm going to write another function, right? Void uh, print day, right? This is a function. So what does this function do? It basically takes a number, it takes a number in n, and according to this number, it returns the name of the day, right? If it is one, then it returns Monday. If it is two, it returns Tuesday. It return, if it is three, it returns Wednesday, right? So Definitely, you are expert of if else and you're also an expert of ternary operator, you can use it, right? But switch case, just the statement, the switch statement basically enhances the way of writing statements, right? We don't need to write if else, if else, if else, or we don't need to write question mark, colon, question mark, colon, like a long ternary operator statement. Switch case is basically for improving the code readability. I'm going to show you, right? So first of all, it takes an integer number, right? Then what you have to do is you have to write switch and on which thing, sorry, yes, correct. On which uh, entity I want to uh, apply this switch on number n, right? And after this, write curly brackets, right? Then in switch, you have to define your cases. So what is my first case that is possible? User must have written one. So case one, right? And in this, you have to say colon, right? And then you have to return, if a user has entered one, then I want to return Monday, right? And then say nothing. Like if you have returned something, then you don't need to uh, write a break statement. I'm going to sh show you the example of break also. So why is it, why is it uh, showing me the red line? Because I've said that said that my print day is not going to return anything. I've defined it void. Otherwise it should have been string, right? Because my day print day function is going to return a string. So this is perfect. What can be my next case? It can be two, right? And that is going to return me Tuesday, right? Similarly, I'm going to have case three and it is going to return me Wednesday. All right, I'm not going to go till Saturday, but you can see it is more formatted, right? It is more in a better way. Otherwise I would be writing if there's this, then else if this, else if, else if, else if, else if, and it is not good for code readability, right? But this is actually a better way of representing your conditions, right? But now I'm going to have a default statement, right? I'm going to have a default statement. Now in this default statement, I can say that, hey, User did not write anything from these cases. User did not write one, user did not write two, user did not write three, user wrote 100, or user wrote four, five, six, seven. I'm only considering one to three. You can consider it till seven also. But all the cases which are not covered over here will go into default statement. And for default, I want to say record not found. All right. And this is going to cover now all the condition. You can write negative, it will go in default. You write four, it will go in default. You write seven, it will go in default. You write 110, it will go in default, right? Now let's try to run it. So I say my N is, let's say 100, and I want to like print my print day, and it is going to provide it N semicolon and run it. record not found. But if I say, let's say one, it is going to say Monday. You are seeing? Perfect. Now, what I want to do is, I don't want to like return it over here. I just want to have one return statement at the end, right? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say string day is equal to empty string for the start. And over here, my day is going to become Monday. Over here, my day is going to become Tuesday. 
over here my day is going to become wednesday and over here my day is going to become record not found and at the end i want to return my day is it clear you can see but over here after i'm not returning anything in this case right so i need to break this statement like this i need to break this statement over here also i need to break this statement over here also i need to break this statement and over here also i need to break this statement i will format it format is successful and now i'm going to run it you can see monday perfect now i can say 10 and it will return me record not found you can see so this is how switch statements work so i hope that you like this video of switch statements till the next part keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot